Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert a table into your Word document. So I've just opened a default Word document and inserted some random text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table around about here. So in order to do that, I'm just going to make a little bit of space. I'm going to place my cursor at the end of this paragraph just press the return key a few times so that my cursor now lies in the middle of these two paragraphs. Next thing I'm going to do is to go up to the insert tab and then down to this table icon here. There's a couple of ways that we can insert a table. The first way is to click on the drop down and simply click and drag along these squares. And as you can see at the top, the just go back. The top here, you can see there are numbers one times one. That's the number of rows and columns you'll be inserting. So as I go along, that will be columns. As I go down, that will be rows. So let's just say I wanted to insert a table four by four. Once I've highlighted those cells, I just take my mouse off and my table is inserted. Alternatively, if I go back up to insert, click on the drop down and go to insert table, then this dialog box appears. And once again, you can simply insert how many rows and columns you wish to have, or you can just use these up and down arrows here. So again, if I want four by four, there we go. And then just click OK. And your table is inserted. Now, once your table's inserted, you may be happy with it as it is, but there are a few common formatting things that you might want to do to your table in order to suit your needs. And the first one is usually to insert a title along the top here. And the way in which we do that is to simply click and drag all of the cells. And then we'll go up to the table design. And then we'll just go up to table layout and go down to this icon here that says Merge Cells. If we click on that, what you can see now is that the four cells that were here have now become one. In there we can insert a title by making sure the cursor is on the left hand side, going up to the Home tab, and going down to Alignment here. I'm just going to put my title in the centre, so I'm going to click Centre Text. And then I'm just going to insert a title. In addition, once you've inserted some contents into your cells, you might want to move the cells or the cell dividers left or right to suit the text that you've put in. So I'm just going to put some contents into the table so that I can show you how to increase or decrease the size of these cells. OK, so let's just say that we need to put some additional information in here that's going to take up a lot more room. We can just simply move this line over by putting our cursor on the line and waiting for it to change into this double headed arrow and then just simply click and drag the line to the left. And that way we can expose a bit more cell for some additional information. If you decide that once your information is in your cells, you actually want to make the cells equal again, if you just highlight all of the cells, go up to Layout, and then go to Distribute Columns. And then that will equalize each of your columns again. If you would like to increase or decrease the size of your cells, then that's very easy to do. We can simply highlight our table by going up to the little cross icon in the top left corner. Or you can simply click and drag with your mouse. Then go up to the Layout tab. And then you can play around with the height and width of your cells in this area here. The height here refers to the height of your rows and at the moment they are 0.38 centimetres. If you click on the up arrow, you can see that those will be increased in increments. 
And if you're not happy with the layout of where the text is or where it's aligned at the top of the cell, then you can just simply go along to this area here, ensuring you're in the layout tab. And then you can choose any one of these alignments and the center ones right here. So if you wanted to center your text or if you wanted the text to be at the top center, then you can click that one or the bottom center. It really is up to you. In addition, if you want to use color or a different design, then you can go to table design. If either of these tabs are not open, it's because your table isn't selected. If I click off the table, you can see that those two tabs have disappeared. If I put my cursor over my table and click, then those two tabs will reappear. Just go to table design and here you're given a ribbon which will allow you to select from numerous different table options. If you click on this drop down arrow here, then more options will become available to you. And then you can also modify that table style. So let's say for example we chose this one here and then go back up to table design and click on the drop down and then click modify table style. Then we can use this dialog box here to change elements of the table. So for example, if we didn't like the font, then we could change the font. We just move that to one side. We can change the font. We can change the font size. We can change the font color. So let's change it to gray and so on and so forth. You can also change the grid line sizes, which are here. So you can have a thicker border or a, a double line border, a dotted border. You can also change the thickness of that border. So you can make it quite thick if you like. And then you can change the color, we go to red. So I'm doing something a bit bonkers so that you can just see how it uh, changes and change the color of certain uh, cells. And then click OK, and then you can see everything's changed in my cell. It does look a bit bonkers and probably not something I would choose, but it just, for demonstration purposes, allows you to see how those changes are made. Okay, so we'll just go back and we'll just highlight this table. This table has obviously put our text in the top center of our cells. So if I go to the layout tab and I select this one here and then I can move that text to where I want it to. Now obviously this table design is a, a default design so it means that if you do select from one of these it will just default to whatever's in that particular selection but you can go ahead and change it so now my text has moved again to the top of the cell but don't be afraid of just highlighting your table again and then moving that text to where you want it to go. Because of course you can customize all of this table using those uh, tabs that I showed you up here, table design and table layout. If you want to add a row to your table, then you can do that in a number of ways. The first way is if you want to add a row below your table, so the next row down, you can put your cursor in the lower right hand cell and press the tab key on your keyboard and it will insert an extra row. Or if you wanted to insert a row between some rows, let's say between Monday and Tuesday, if I click on Tuesday and I simply go up to layout and then along to this section here, insert a row above, below, a column to the left or the right. So if I want to insert one above, I just click above and I've got an additional row above. And again, with the columns, if I wanted to insert another column here, then I click on the row to the left or the right, and then just click on insert left or right. And there we have an additional row. Now up here, what you will see is that your title is now offset. So just make sure you highlight all of your cells. You can see here that what's happened is it's added a line here, which is why this is in the center of these four columns, but not this one. So again, just highlight this top row here and click on Merge. 
and then again the title has gone to the top and go along to this section here we're still in the layout tab and click center and finally you may want to move this table around your document and it's quite easy to do if you just simply click on this top left box with the cross in it and drag you can see there's a thin outline that shows where your table will end up so if I want to put it just below this first paragraph I just center it there and I just release the mouse and then my tables moved up one paragraph and again I can move it back down with no problem. Sometimes your table is a little bit too close to the bottom uh, text all you need to do is to click on the beginning of that paragraph and hit the return key and then you'll create a space below. If the gap up here is too big then just simply move the table up and then you can just simply place your cursor at the bottom and press the delete key. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.